She know I come from the project, so moving into a big crib like that, that's crazy, man. That's real crazy. Yeah, we made it, but I mean, it ain't over yet. It's still cuts to be made. You still gotta grind. You still gotta, you know I mean, plant your feet and fight. Hob, Tracy, and Allison, they're like kind of my eyes and ears. A lot of times people act one way around me, you know, but when um, daddy's not home, there's a lot of acting up that goes on, so they kind of let me know the real deal about which cast is going to flow with me. Once again, congratulations to everybody who made it to this point. Congratulations. Uh, I know everybody looks extra happy, but there's going to be chores and things that go along with being in here and earning your keep, so to speak. This is a beautiful place, and we want y'all to respect it and be respectful of the area, the common areas, your own individual areas. We will be making, like, spontaneous house checks and room checks at all times during the night, in the morning, or whatever, and you will be penalized. Keep in mind, we're putting together a group, so we're looking at, you know, the complexions uh, and the textures and the shapes of you, as well as your natural talent um, but a big part of that also is your demeanor and your disposition and how you treat people how you treat others so keep all those things in mind as well so make sure you look at it and read it because you'll have to recite it every day at the beginning of each day life is not a game only the fittest and most aggressive will survive sleeping is forbidden a second cannot be wasted when seconds are lost you lose and losing is for losers excited because they made it in the house and I'm excited but I know that I gotta work harder and there's a million more steps to go and this is just the beginning. <laughs> I was basically homeless before I came on the show so you know now I'm staying inside of a house that's more expensive than any place I've ever been. Jamie my homie man. He my roommate now. He's the only Caucasian dude rapper that made it so you know he had to be one hell of a rapper. Be a white MC is Basically, it's like heaven and hell. You get looked at first because you're different, but then also you get respected last because you're different. This means everything to me right now because my life is good. I got a beautiful baby, but I got people rooting against me at home. I got my son's father trying to hurt me sleeping with this bitch that was supposed to be my girl, but I'm here. But everyone know y'all are to finish working on your music, okay? I am a dead mom slash product manager. I take care of the kids in every aspect, giving them activities, checking up on them, just being around. Y'all know y'all have some Friday to get all y'all 13 songs, how many songs ever, all together tight. Allison calls. We don't have speaker phones, so she has to speak through me, and I have to speak to the group. But she's on a cell phone, so it's kind of tough for me to hear, so I need the room to be quiet. And everybody knows that everybody's respecting the issue. And uh, Belinda starts speaking out loud. Like, I don't really care who's on the phone. I'm talking in the background. Oh, I'm Start working on them now, but y'all should be, like, damn near halfway through. I can't really hear what Allison was saying. So, you know, I asked Belinda politely, can she be quiet? And then she just started going off on me. No. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah. Who's that talking? Um, Coco Put her on the phone, please. All right, hold on. Crazy. You better just leave me the f alone. Hello? What's the problem? My is getting on my mom. Nerve. What's the who? And what's the problem? When Allison is the boss or you have a figure like the boss, you don't get on the phone and start cursing at the boss. Like, this is crazy. She's cursing at the boss. Cool, what are you talking about, though? About whatever it is that I do. OK, well, listen, I'm on the phone with Jamie, with all y'all there, and I'm only hearing your voice. And that's a problem for me, OK? Because mm -hmm. you're cursing and carrying on, and I'm on the phone with Jamie. Y'all should be listening, OK? Mm -hmm. So I don't know whatever's going on or whatever, but um, yeah, just please chill out. And I asked Jamie who was talking in the background, because I heard one person talking. Well, it wasn't just me talking. OK, who else was it? I mean, it was more than one people, one person talking, so I don't know. I'm just worried about me. I ain't worried about nobody else. OK, so you were talking, though, right? Mm-hmm. OK, you shouldn't have been. 
Six o'clock, we gotta be ready, right? Right, it's a rollout. Everyone should be in the house. All right. All right, I'll see y'all later. All right. Bye. Bye. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make my life go out. I'm trying to go. If I want to speak, I don't know who's speaking, and that's just that. And if they like me or they don't like me. But Linda, she's been through a lot. She's still going through it at this moment, so it's like maybe sometimes she don't mean it, but she might snap at everybody else when it's not like that. Sometimes I feel like God. It's just like everything right now. Every little thing is just eating right now. I told her, I said, don't let nobody knock you out of your spot. Like you get so upset that you know you ready to just throw down and stuff. You know, be eager, be eager. You know, like just I told her, you need anybody to come to me. I'll help you. I'll talk to you some because talking usually helps. You know. You don't know if she's gonna snap or what, you know? She could wild out on somebody. This is not a game, this is serious, you know? You're either here to sing it or, and you and want it, or you could just go home.